Now, earlier this morning, we met today's deserving makeover candidate, mum of one, Maura Harold, who has been treated to a glamorous transformation ahead of Mother's Day on Sunday. Maura is looking for a style revamp and on hand to give her a new look is hairstylist Tori Keane and makeup artist Derry Carberry. Good to see you guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Now, before we talk to the experts, Maura, in terms of hair, I mean, did you have any time for your hair? I mean, no one really does when they have a newborn in the house. So what did you tend to do or what was your routine like when it came to your hair? Um, put a brush through it. And if you're lucky. <laughs> that's about it. If you're lucky. Yeah. yeah, that's it. And the evening time then might get a chance to have a wash the hair and yeah. that's it. And what about colouring your hair? Had you coloured your hair before? No. Never? No, no. Wow. But and I had highlights, all right. OK, you'd yeah, have highlights, yeah, OK. Not, yeah. not for a long time, though. Oh, no. It's like two years mm, two ago years, or something, yeah. isn't it? So had most that colour grown out then? Oh, it was gone, yeah. Ah. So it was lovely for me. I love a virgin head. <laughs> it's just a virgin head. That's what hairdressers call it. It's so funny. Virgin <laughs> hair. It is. It's virgin true. Hair. So you're working from a great base. You don't oh, need to strip colour out or anything. Nothing. So, and she has actually amazing hair. It's so thick. And well, she's lucky to post-baby. I know. And actually, I meant to say that to you more as I was brushing it. There was actually very little... Hair loss. The hair loss mm -hmm. still, but aren't you still breastfeeding as well? Yes. So mm -hmm. a lot of the time, the breastfeeding has to stop completely before you lose all of it, if you're going to. But a lot of people don't. And when you say when you lose all of it, you're not going to lose <laughs> everything. everything. Before oh, it all goes. Like, we're no. rubbished enough <laughs> after childbirth. I felt like I lost my whole head of really? hair. Really? Like, yeah, I lost so much hair. But then some people don't lose it at all. OK. It depends. It's obviously a hormonal thing or something, but some people lose only a little bit, some people lose it all at once, and then some people lose it kind of right. for about 12 months afterwards mm. so just... yeah I have all the girls in here their heads wrecked to do my hair because I'm getting that fringe that's just spiking so, up me too and I'm trying to yeah, spray it down it's dreadful it's so terrible. you're working with a great candidate yes. today with Maura so yes yeah, so Maura had had uh, no color in her hair at the time so she does have a little sprinkling of grays so I did put a few little highlights through it so that when the grays start to come through they'll be disguised as highlights. I think that's always a good thing, just a little, really little fine highlights. It's because her hair is kind of darker. You don't want to have an obvious regrowth of, of a grey. Mm -hmm. So, um, little few highlights. And then Maura's own natural hair is actually quite a, a warm, like a strawberry blondie auburny colour. Um, so I used a gorgeous... Um, it was this hair and the shorts cuff is light caramel ah. brown. So I'm using home colours this morning to show people at home right. that it can be done. Okay. Especially when you have a new baby, Karen. Yeah. Like, obviously, yeah, go to your hairdressers, get a full overhaul, you know, when you have time or whatever. But in between, it's OK to use to the good brands. That's yeah. good to know. So, um, so for Maura's hair, because the highlights are only very, very fine, I said she could actually top up with the shorts cuff colour when her roots start to come through. Um, and, you know, just not put any on the ends. Did you cut it? Any trim? So, yeah, I've done, I've done a trim on it. I'm not going to give away too much on, on the cut until it's dry. Ah, okay. Um, but yeah, so you'll, you'll see more of the shape of it anyway when it's when I have it blow dried. But and quite curly. It's quite, quite curly, curly and that's hair. why I wanted to just show real quickly, Karen, before we move on, um, a blow drying technique for people at home. So when your hair is curly and you know quite thick, like the way Maura's is, always make sure you're pointing your nozzle down the hair. Mm -hmm. So can I just show you for a second? Yeah, I'll just turn on this. Quiet. Isn't it? Yeah. It is very quiet, actually. Yeah. Talk over it. Yeah. Just shaking over the hair bar. So you can just, if you can just see the way I'm bringing it down on the brush, and see the way it's flattening it out there, Karen. Mm -hmm. And that's that's as easy as it is. And more, you have a few special occasions coming up as well, don't you? I do. Um, my niece, uh, Caitlin is being christened on Sunday. Oh. Ah. And then my own child, Maeve. Maeve will have her christening. Yeah. She will in Easter Sunday. And you're very organised, because she's only three months old. My mum actually walking up the <laughs> aisle into the church. So she, it's very hard I to get know. to that. And it your is. birthday as well is coming up as well. Exactly. Uh, yeah, it's tomorrow. Oh, it's actually tomorrow? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm like, no, keeping well last. Yeah, I'm going to have her hair Super. gorgeous for tomorrow. OK, Derek, yes. makeup-wise. Makeup -wise. Well, skin prep really is important, first of all. So I use this um, Nivea Anti-Wrinkle Pore Minimizer as well, which is really good, just to prep the skin beforehand. And if you have a problem with redness in the skin, it has this fabulous pro product from Maybelline called Master Prime. It has a slightly green undertone, so that will zap out any redness in the skin as well, which most Irish complexions have mm. some redness in, which is, you know, you need to counteract. Where are you going to be putting that, Derek? So I put that just kind of 
again with products like this, minimal amounts of product is all you need and just kind of press it onto the, the affected area, whether it's tread veins or redness on the nose or the cheeks, before you put on your foundation. And also this fabulous product from Rimmel Instant Fix and Go, you can use as a primer which you can put on before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like that. Or after you've done your makeup as well. So you can have a quick spritz before, or when you have your makeup done, you can also put it on then as well afterwards to keep a it in place. One if you are, yeah. as we say, going to christening, if you can get yourself, then you're getting baby ready and everything, yeah. but you don't have to think about your makeup then. No, exactly. That. And then just to finish them with the skin, we use this lasting radiance product from Rimmel and a concealer to match, which you can see is just evening out her skin tone beautifully. It has a slightly yellow undertone, which is also going to zap out the redness and just give a lovely even complexion, and her skin just looks gorgeous. I know when you have kids, the last thing you want to be doing is spending a lot of money on the likes of makeup. Mm. With these ones that you literally find in the supermarket, are you going to get good results? Uh, the yeah. proof is in on the skin. Like yeah. they, all, they blend beautifully well. They look very natural. They look very youthful. And this one has a kind of a glow to it as well. So it gives you kind of that youthful glow also as well. And, and they're very easy to apply. Yeah, that's what you... And stuff you can do with your fingers quickly. Use it with your fingers. Yeah. You have a little wand. You can just dab on the concealer. Do what you want to do. If you have a brush grand, if you don't, just use your hands quickly. Or even one of the beauty blender sponge, sponges. Um, before little Maeve arrived, did you have much time for makeup more? Would you have had a, a makeup routine, say? Oh, we would have. And what did you tend to like? What were your kind of products that you'd always go to? Oh, I, I tried. I would try lots of different brands and different oh, things. Oh, good. Like so did you have a favourite one, or did you have? You were just kind of trying everything. I'm trying everything, really. Yeah. yeah. You know, just. Because your just, skin changes, things change as well mm -hmm. from season to season, so you kind of have to keep updating your products as well. Did your skin change after you had Maeve? Did you find any... Well, the it, bags under the eyes, we yeah. all get them. <laughs> Apart from that. Um, it did, it did, it's more better, right? It got a little bit drier. Yeah, um, I know. Just, you can, it's, it's kind of one of these journeys, isn't it, Troy? You have three kids. Yeah. Like, everything kind of... You do have to make little amendments along the way, don't you? And it keeps kind of changing for about 12 months. You don't really know what your skin or your hair is like after you have a baby for a while. Sure, yeah. you don't. You're just settling back. You yeah. Starting to way. feel like your old self again. That's yeah. what we are here to help with. <laughs> and brilliant. Can I just say quickly as well, just if you want the foundation to last that bit longer, just use a powder pressed on over your product as well, over your foundation. This is a wet and wild one as well. And that just mattifies in the correct area and just holds the product on that bit longer as well. Super. You still have some work to do? Yes, we do. Oh, we yes. are going to be back with you at around 20 past 10 to see the final result. Um, but right now, coming up after the break, X Factor winner Matt Terry will be here to tell us all about his latest role as Alex the Lion in Madagascar at the musical. Stay tuned. Thank you very much for staying with us all morning. Our glam squad have been in a flap. <laughs> no, they've been working their magic on Mum of One Maura Harold and transforming her look ahead of Mother's Day this Sunday. But before Maura shows us off her glamorous transformation, here's a reminder of how she looked this morning. Oh, she, I think she looked great. She, she, she looked gorgeous. lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Was like, you know, the baby she, sick. She looks perfect. Yeah. Um, <laughs> now it is time for the final reveal. Out you come, Maura. Yay! Let's have a look at you. Of what she looks like. Beautiful. Um, beautiful. Beautiful. You look gorgeous. How do you feel, first of all? Amazing. Oh, amazing. amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Has it been nice to have people actually look after you for once today, well, okay. even if it is this shower. <laughs> it is. Well. Can yeah. I bring them home? Yes. <laughs> um, so you probably can't see very much of what you're wearing, but a dress like this, is it something that you maybe would have tried before, or is this a new kind of style for you? It's a new style for me. Good. And Marietta, yeah. the waist. This lady had oh, a baby three is. months ago. She is the most beautiful girl. She's got a beautiful attitude to life. She's gorgeous looking. And I just think she looks absolutely amazing. And look at that little waist yeah. there. Like, I kept tightening the belt. Yeah. Amazing, Maura. Beautiful curves. She's just wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Talk us through what you've popped her into Yeah. Today, so it, it is a little bit different to what uh, Maura normally wears. And that's the beauty of this. She has these gorgeous, long tassel earrings in black with the gold really very sweet and this black and white chain dress everything that Maura is wearing is by River Island and it's all from Athlone Town Centre shopping centre in Athlone beautiful chain bag very Chanel-esque bag mm -hmm. beautiful print on that the chain print is very popular this season it's a great length on Maura I love the V top so I do and I love the little bit of a sleeve and just it's just a, it's a great dress it can easily be worn to Maeve's beautiful 
christening or else you can wear it day wear as well so it's Absolutely. like with flip flops you know it's one of those style dresses it's very very nice and I'm loving the difference in the golds and the blacks and the white the print it's beautiful it's that scarf trend isn't it that yeah, we're seeing exactly, that it transfers Karen. onto the dresses and it's really popular this season uh, Maura loves her round toe shoes she loves her pumps as well comfort like us all so I really wanted to get her into a nice pair of pointy shoes these are great they're like a suede shoe and they're a sling back as well so just look at it's a beautiful outfit she looks great you could go to the christening you could go to the day of the races you gave her another option as well yes that we absolutely at, uh, which was earlier on absolutely. Tell us about that outfit. so the other outfit um was beautiful navy with little red heart love hearts on its top and then we had navy denims remember the ones that we saw earlier in the yes. show all from oasis so it was a beautiful smart casual oh, we'll look see it there. yes so it that's a beautiful top again the v top it's like a mock wrap top i'm loving the little hearts the red with the navy background works really well as you notice there, I'm kinching in Maura's waist there with the little belt, Karen. And that's a key thing to Maura, her beautiful figure. And then we've just matched it with a navy handbag, navy uh, skinny jeans, nice and stretchy and comfortable. And then we finished them off with these silver shoes from Shoelace. That whole outfit that Maura's wearing there now, that was from Oasis. Great. So great prices as well. Love the high street. And really, you'd be able to mix that into your own wardrobe as well. And that's what it's all about. Super. Tori, the big question, will this blow dry last until her birthday tomorrow? Definitely. Definitely. Yay. Definitely. And Yay. hopefully till the weekend. What day are we at? So. Well, uh, Tuesday. Uh, she doesn't have very oily hair, so I'm all made for it to perhaps last until then. So, so you, you blow dried, took yes. some length off as well. So first of all, Karen, I coloured it. So I did. I used a home colour on it, oh. which is this Shorts Cough Colour Expert. So it's easy enough for people to get. You can get in any pharmacy. Um, and I did that because I wanted to bring the richness out in Maura's own hair. And it's a lovely auburn shade. Now I did also put a few highlights in, which, Fabulous. you know, kind of just sets it off a little bit and will help disguise the greys. Um, the cut wise then, I thinned it out more than anything because mm. she had such thick hair, but she still wants to be able to tie it back because mm -hmm. you know yourself, the newborn and puke and pulling and that sort of thing. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of nice to have your hair able to tie it back. That's it. So I pinned it out loads and I just chopped into the ends so that her hair is very thick. I didn't want it to be too blunt. And then, yeah, blow dried it straight and GHD'd it then. So it should last her. Derek, in terms of makeup, you've still, you've gone glam because I can see the lashes are on, but it's yeah. still a very achievable look, oh, I think. Very for achievable. Look, it particularly for a working mum at home, you need to be able to kind of do like a makeup that's going to be a nice balance. So a little bit of definition on the eyes. You use this fabulous product from Rimmel. It's a magnify eyes. It has all the colours in the world you could need lovely price point as well you just need a half decent brush you can blend it on and then we did contour and highlight again with a rimmel product it's a case palette which has contour highlight and blush in one as well so all together three three products in one which Let's is brilliant take a look at more beforehand yeah. so we can see the difference wow god and the skin is beautiful skin is beautiful that's that rimmel um product as well lovely so that's foundation. like a color corrector item color you're corrector talking about and the foundation to even out the skin tone but do you see we also used a little bit of tan to bring up her, her skin tone as well so she looks a little bit kind of um, less wishy-washy as you would say and then we just and then we just use the lovely Maybelline lip product on the lips again just quite neutral but for me it's all a nice balance she's got nice skin a little bit of contour a little bit of blush and then we also defined her brows as well this fabulous product from Maybelline it's called tattoo brow oh, which you can just comb in super. super well do we have your other half Thomas and I want to see baby Maeve is she yeah. <laughs> She's so nice. Do you recognise it? Well, Thomas, like, what do you think of your missus? Absolutely amazing. Yeah? Absolutely amazing. I'd say she deserved a treat. I'm well, she? well deserved a treat. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. It's tough in those early months, isn't it? Ah, it was. Uh, we had a couple of hard months there during, during the, the Christmas weeks, and New Year. Yeah. So it was just She's well nice working. to get over it and back home. Mm -hmm. and. And how is it? Oh, good. Thanks be to God. Well, Maeve, you are a little dose. So cute. Listen, guys, you have been super to hang out with this morning. And we want to also say, as an extra special treat, we have a fantastic hotel break for you oh. two. Uh, you've got yourselves a two-night stay in the Hotel Merrick in Galway with breakfast on both mornings and dinner on the night of your choice in their award-winning restaurant, number 15 on the square. And as well as that, Tori, you've got a few little bits as yeah. well. Yeah. So you have a little little mane and tail goodie bag uh, from Mane and Tail, so it's all stuff to maintain your hair now. Oh, <laughs> super. And we have cosmetics from 
some done stores for you as well. Absolutely. Oh, nice. And oh. this outfit is all yours, and that's compliments of Athlone Town Centre Shopping Centre. And a huge thank you to Shirley Stella really Hunt there. It's yeah. been a great oh, help this good. morning. Maura, you deserve everything you and really more. You really do. And the only thing we don't have you is a babysitter for your weekend away. So, Alan Keith is available. He said he'll drop in. Babysitter. She's the best baby. Bye. Guys, thank you so much. Cheers. Brilliant sport. Thank you so much. I do very good. I do very good rates as well. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Karen. Congratulations.